I heard what you did today. Oh, I, I was just uh, getting ready to leave. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I caught you. Um, I just want to tell, you, tell much... you that... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, go on. No, no, you. I just appreciate you coming by. Oh, I just I wanted to let you know that I respect your decision, and I'm sure that you'll walk away from here feeling good about it. Hope so. I, I love this place. I know. Well, there's no point in me standing here feeling sorry for myself, is it? Uh, is there anything that I can help you with? Uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, maybe we'd, uh, could go somewhere and talk for a little while. Have a little something to eat. How about it? You haven't said no yet. That's very encouraging. I'm, I'm just thinking. What do you say? I'm not talking about anything fancy. Just, uh, you know, just grab a bite. You gotta eat. No, true. I mean, I could, I could uh, eat something. Sure. Well, what do you say? I really hate to eat alone. Uh, especially tonight, but since I'm leaving this house and I won't be coming back. What do you say? Oh, all right. Dinner? Thank you. But that's all. That's more than I deserve. Dance with me, I want my arms about you. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about me. I'm on, on, my, on my way out. The movers are going to pick up the rest of my things. Fine. Brooke, you okay? Yes. Natalie, just one word uh, before I go about Scott and Stuart. They're welcome to stay in the gatehouse as long as they like. You know that. I know they'll appreciate your kindness. Um, I know I do. Well, shall we go? Yes, yes, yeah, I'm all set. Goodbye, Natalie. Goodbye, Adam. Oh, kid, uh, don't know what you did to your hair, but leave it. It looks, uh, very nice. got to hand it to the old guy, he definitely split with style. Yes, he actually showed a little class. You know why, don't you? I do? He and Brooke are getting together. Oh, she's too smart for that. I don't know, she's doll. She's not going to make the same mistake twice, I hope. Well, it's out of our hands now. You're quiet. Oh, uh, forgive me, I was just thinking about the changes in my life today. Lost uh, my house, a good deal of my money, and a wife. Oh, well, just another day. I know how much that house meant to you. Losing the money hurt, I'm sure. But please, don't tell me that suddenly you feel bad about losing Natalie. Oh, no, no. Better off without her. I'm just angry at myself for marrying her in the first place. Well, whose fault was that? <laughs> Guilty, Your Honor. I married her for all the wrong reasons, but I really thought at the time it could work. I really did. When we can't have what we want, Brooke, sometimes we settle for second best. I really thought we, we could be, Natalie and I could be friends, could be partners. It worked in the beginning, it was okay. And then? <laughs> and it all went straight to hell. So then you should be relieved. Oh, I am. Oh. That it's over. Yes, oh, believe me, I am. And although I am poorer and homeless, I don't envy anyone else in this entire world. Don't you want to know why? I'll bite. <laughs> why? Because I'm riding, riding here beside you and we're going to dinner together. I consider myself a very lucky man. It's dinner, Adam. Only oh, dinner. Absolutely, you're not going to get any pressure from me tonight. I just thought, all I want is a little conversation, a little, little food, that's all. 
So exactly where are you taking me? You'll see. What are you up to? Nothing. <laughs> Stop being so suspicious. The force of habit being with you. <laughs> no, we, 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 you left Pine Valley eight miles ago. I'm not abducting you, Brooke. Although it's a very tempting idea. Oh. <laughs> Just sit back and relax. Enjoy the ride. You turn on some music if you'd like. We're almost there. And I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. Adam? Him. Him. <laughs> it's great to see you. Wait till I tell Dorothy. Yes, hey, Daddy, yes. come on here. You'll never get who's here. This is really lovely. Well, I told you you'd like it. He's going to... Okay. Adam, oh, it's been too long. Oh, you're right about that. You look, you look wonderful. Oh, you're just saying that, but thanks. <laughs> Still can't take a compliment. <laughs> yes, I remember that. How's Jim Jr. doing? Oh, we are so proud of that boy. He made the dean's list last <laughs> semester. <laughs> well, I'm not at all surprised. <laughs> well, give him my congratulations. I'll do that. And it's all thanks to you. Uh, she's right about that, Adam. We're grateful to you. Ah, now I was glad I was able to help. Where are my manners? Here, somebody I want you to meet. Oh, oh for heaven's here. sakes, I can tell this is your wife. We've been dying to meet you. Oh, actually, well, and congratulations <laughs> yourself. When's the baby due? <laughs> oh, not for some time. Yeah, we um, couldn't be happier about it. Well, I should say so. <laughs> I guess I should have called you in advance oh. so and told you we were coming. Come now, you don't have to stand on ceremony with us. <laughs> well, good. You think you can feed two more very hungry people? It'd be my pleasure. How's pot roast sound with all the trimming? Oh, oh is that what smells so good? <laughs> well, sit anywhere you'd like. Here, this is perfect. I'm going to fix you the best dinner you've ever had. And while you're waiting, thank how about you. some of uh, Jim's hot cider to warm you? Oh, oh, I would, I would love some. Oh, thank you. Coming right up. Thank you. Yes. Why did you let them think that we're married? Uh, sorry, I... Do you have any idea how long it would take to explain what's really going on here? Well, they seem to be very nice people. Oh, they're wonderful people. How did you ever find this place? By accident. Same way I've found almost every good thing in my life. I liked it so much I came to eat here a lot, I got to know the family. What are you doing for their son? Do you mind if I ask you? Oh, no, no. Jim Jr. was, uh, when I met him, he was a bright young kid with a lot of potential. Reminded me of myself when I was his age, I guess. And uh, he was saving his money for college. Unfortunately, Jim and Dottie had to use a good deal of it for, to make ends meet. So you're paying his tuition? Oh, no, no, not at all. No, no. I just arranged for the Mason Foundation to give him a full scholarship. It was really no big deal. Well, it is to them. Yeah. Well, like I said, he was a hard-working kid who needed a break. Will you excuse me just for a minute? Sure. woman your wife oh yes i think she, I, I agree with you <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, this hits the spot wonderful good the place looks great how's business i eh, can't complain good <laughs> how much for that j whole jar of cinnamon hearts the whole jar yeah, the whole jar ten bucks and it's yours ten bucks sold <laughs> got it okay I got uh, i've got plans for this You're as sure now as I am. I'm as sure as I'm ever going to get. I mean, sometimes people wait for that.
special time to do something, and I never get it done. You make me very proud. A woman like you, the mother of my child, the best I could do on such short notice. I didn't know that you could be so creative. I seem to remember you had a thing for cinnamon hearts. I still do. Adam? Yes. Yes. There's something I have to tell you. You're not going to like it. But then don't, 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 don't tell me. Don't, don't, no. I'm too late. You already have a valentine. I just hope that you believe me. Okay, you got my attention. This isn't your child that I'm carrying. It isn't. Then how do you explain the records at the clinic? Trevor was responsible for that. He, um somehow got into the computer files at the clinic and he forged an entry saying that I had requested your sperm for artificial insemination. But you hadn't? No, I hadn't. Why would he go to all this trouble? Because of his original lie, he told you that I was carrying your child, so he needed to offer you proof. And you fell for it. And it went exactly the way he planned. You made a settlement with Natalie, and now he and Natalie are together. I'm sorry for my part in it. I really should have told you what was going on long ago. Why didn't you? Well, because naturally Trevor didn't want me to tell you. Anyway, if you would like to take me home, I certainly understand. Nice try. What? I don't believe a word you just told me. What do you mean? It's the truth. Look, I understand why you wouldn't want anybody to know what you've done. I, I, if I were in your shoes, I probably would have made up some ridiculous story myself. Do you think I made this whole thing up? I know I'm the father of your baby. Adam, you are not the father. Here we are. Uh, oh, oh, you better move that pretty thing aside. Oh, oh. I don't want to spoil it. One second. Whoa. Dorothy, oh, you have outdone smells yourself. Delicious. Oh, I messed it up. Well, eat it while it's hot. Masterpiece. Is there anything else I can get for you? I think, uh, well, I, I'd like some water. I have it some milk for my lady because we want our son or daughter to have good, strong bones. <laughs> Perfection. Sure, I can't talk you into another custard. Oh. Oh, this was delicious. I ate so much I couldn't eat another time. Thank you. Same for me, Dorothy. Is there anything we have to start getting back to find out? Well, don't be such a stranger from now on. No, don't worry. You'll see us again before long. Oh, it feels you. like maybe a storm's brewing outside. Sure you wouldn't like to stay over? I've got an empty room. Uh, no, I have to get back. Uh, she's the boss. <laughs> well... You drive carefully now. You've got precious cargo there. You put that away. No, 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 no. no. You want us. me to come back Please. or not? Please. It was our pleasure. It was so nice to meet you, bro. Oh, I enjoyed meeting you, too. You're still Thank the you. best cook in the Western Hemisphere. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you again. Uh -huh. oh, you're welcome. So nice to see him so happy. Yeah, I think Adam and I did all right for ourselves in the wife department. Oh, you. <laughs>